welcome back to Water Rock Simple Science. My name is Lindsay, and today we're gonna to be making something that'll make your neighborhood birds so happy. We are making toilet paper roll bird feeders. And what's really cool about this activity that we're doing today is that it's sustainable. Have you ever heard of that word? Sustainability is making sure that our resources like trees, water, and minerals, and a lot of other things that happen out in nature last a really long time. So for today's activity, here's what you'll need. Peanut butter or vegetable shortening, scissors, popsicle sticks, bird seed, a toilet paper roll or a paper towel roll or both, string or twine, and a baking sheet. First, we're going to use our popsicle stick to cover the outside of the toilet paper or paper towel roll with our peanut butter or substitute if you're using something other than peanut butter. Next, we're going to roll the peanut butter covered toilet paper roll in the bird seed we have here until the whole roll is covered in seeds. Then, we're going to pull our twine or string or whatever you have on hand through the toilet paper roll and knot it so it makes a big loop. And now that the bird feeder is ready, you can take it outside and find a good place to hang it. Birds like to hang out near bushes and trees. So when you go to hang your bird feeder outside, go find a tree branch or part of a bush to hang it on. Now make sure when you are hanging your bird feeder outside, you're not hurting any of the trees or the bushes. We don't want to hurt nature, we want to help it. And if you can see your bird feeder from your window in your home, Take a minute to look outside your window and observe the birds as they come and go. Maybe you can practice your bird identification as you watch them fly by. Did you know there's an app that you can download on your phone or your tablet with a parent or guardian's permission that helps you identify different bird calls? It's called Merlin Bird ID and you can find it in most app stores. And what you can do is you take it outside in your backyard or maybe when you're out exploring in nature and you record any bird call that you hear and it'll tell you what bird you're listening to. Pretty cool, right? Thank you so much, friends, for practicing some simple science with me today. I hope your new bird feeders attract all kinds of cool birds for you to observe outside. And you did such a great job today of practicing not only sustainability, but also exploring the world of conservation. So remember, if you're looking for something to do and you're bored and you want something fun, check out our website, waterrocks.org, for more activities and fun videos. Until next time, friends.